Yo, 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 yo. What up, family? You cast know what it is. This is Celebrity Talk with Q, and I'm Q. Yo, check this out. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Season 2, Episode 3, Recap and Review. Uh, you cast saw it. Carly's in the studio, and she trying to do a diss track on Katie's show. Yo, I thought that beef was over. I don't know what the problem is. And she wanted Rashida to get down on the verse, and Rashida refused to. So, yo, you saw the way Carly Red and uh, Jocelyn met up, and did you hear the scandalous statement that Carly Red said to Jocelyn? Carly Red told Jocelyn that Benzino told her that him and Jocelyn, yo, they got busy, they smashed out, that he smashed Jocelyn. And Jocelyn was saying, yo, yo, it ain't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just rumors. Yo, I thought Benzino was Stevie J's man. If that's not true, yo, why would he come out and, you know, say something like that? Yo, send a comment, tell me what you think. Yo, we move over to Stevie J. Now, Stevie J is trying to get respect from Jocelyn as uh, her manager. Jocelyn continues to go up on her own and book events. And yo, did you see that she had refused to give Stevie J his percentage? And Stevie J wasn't playing. Yo, Stevie J said, if I don't get my money, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be, you know, all good. I mean, a manager got to get his money. I mean, what? If it's a good manager, you're the reason why you're at where you're at. Yo, we move over to Stevie J on a more personal level. He's trying to get Mimi to tell him where she lived. Mimi refuses to. And I don't know. He was saying, like, are you seeing anybody or whatever? Yo, is Mimi seeing somebody? I mean, I heard the rumors, but we'll have to see an upcoming episode about Mimi seeing somebody. I heard she's seeing a singer or whatever, but we'll get to that. Yo, did you see the housewoman? Mimi had this nice little housewoman party, but K. Michelle and Rashida got into it. Yo, Rashida was leaving or whatever, and K. Michelle said something about your husband with his three earrings, and then Rashida came back, and yo, it almost got ugly. K. Michelle, like, kicked that or whatever. And Rashida looked like she was gonna be chilling and she went at her, yo. I mean, and Rashida said, yo, you messing with the wrong thing. Wow, it could have got ugly. But yo, the last scene of the episode was the most terrible scene, I tell you. Did you see when Little Scrappy and Erica got the mothers together for dinner? And Mama D and Erica got into it. Erica said something to the effect of, not word for word, but something to the effect of you always speaking out, but you're not ready. And I mean, it looks like Scrappy took that personal. He like, what you talking about? Like, as if Erica wanted to fight his mother, mom and D or whatever. And she got up in his face and he just kind of like pushed her out of space. And then she hit him and flipped out. And man, she talking to him bad like that. And before it ended, Scrappy said, I want the ring back. Yo, the wedding's off. Let me tell you something. If any woman talks to any man like that, of course he not gonna wanna marry her. Yo, if Eric was talking to a dude like that, I'm gonna send a comment. Would you marry somebody who talked to you like that? I want the brothers to send a comment. And I want the sisters to let me know, would you want your brother or your male friend to marry some woman who talked to him like that? Come on, send a comment, all right? Now let's see what happens in the upcoming episodes because it looks like, you know, things is getting thick. All right, so go on and send that comment. All right, thank you, cats, for tuning in. And like we always say, if you think celebrity talk with Q, if you think we bring real, you go on and subscribe. All right, God bless, 100.